my name is Whitney, and I love to read stories, and I even like to pretend I'm a part of it. I'm getting ready to read one of my favorite stories about a very special bunny. Would you like to read it with me? Yes! Hippity hop! There are two rules I follow anytime I read a story. Rule number one is to be kind. Let me see you hold up one finger and say, be kind. Be kind. We can be kind by listening. If we're listening, we won't miss any of our special story. Let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. 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 Great job. Now let me see you hold up two fingers and say, be safe. Be safe. That's rule number two. Now we can be safe by keeping our hands to ourselves and by keeping our bunny tails on the floor. Now it's time for us to put on our special eyes so we can pretend to be a part of the story. Ready? Zoop, zoop. zoop. Not so long ago, there was a beautiful meadow. In this meadow were fields of flowers filled with butterflies and buzzing bees. And there was a beautiful pond where ducks, geese, and frogs played every day. And right beside the pond was a beautiful oak tree. Friends, can you listen to all of the things happening in the meadow? In this meadow also lived a bunny. Oh, hiya. You guys look new around here. My name is Bounce, and I live in that hollow tree over there. The most hoptastic thing happened this morning. When I woke up and came outside to play, I started to find all kinds of beautiful eggs with surprises inside. Would you like to help me look for more eggs? Yes! Bouncing bunnies! Let's look in that flower patch over there. Do you see an egg? There it is! Everyone reach for the egg and pick it up. Let's tap the egg three times to open it. One, two, three. Sweet baby carrots! Do you hear that beautiful music? I think that means it's time to dance and sing. Stand up and sing with me! You can all sit back down now. Do you want to try to find another egg? Yes! Hip hop hooray! Let's look in the tall grass next to the pond. Do you see an egg? There it is! Everyone reach for the egg and pick it up. Let's tap the egg three times to open it. One, 
two, three. Hoptastic! Do you hear those fun bouncing sounds? It sounds like a game! Let's stand up and hop to it! Hop up high and duck down low to help the bunny dodge some surprising obstacles and get to the basket of eggs. Hop! sit back down. You know I love singing and playing games, but why are all of these eggs hidden around here? Hoppy Easter Bounce, how many eggs have you found so far? Hoppy what? What's Easter? You haven't heard about Easter? It's only the best day ever. Have you seen the golden egg yet? It will tell you everything you need to know about Easter. Friends, I want to know more about Easter and Jesus. Will you help me find the golden egg? Yes! Yippee Skippy! The only place we haven't looked is in the big tree beside my house. Do you see the golden egg? There it is. Everyone reach for the egg and pick it up. Oh, this is so exciting! Look at this! Inside of this big golden egg are five little eggs. Let's see what's in this first one. Hmm. <gasps> it's a green leaf. This green leaf reminds me of a time when a crowd in the Bible waved palm branches for Jesus. Jesus was on his way to a town called Jerusalem. A large crowd of people heard he was coming and they were so excited to meet him. They gathered big palm branches and waved them as they shouted, Hosanna! Let's pretend to wave a palm branch and shout, Hosanna! Hosanna! Great job! They knew that Jesus was God's son and they wanted to make him feel very special. Now, let's see what's inside the next egg. Let's see here. Cool! Hmm, inside this egg is a piece of bread. Can you pretend to eat a piece of bread? This makes me think of the special supper Jesus had with his closest friends. At supper, Jesus told them that soon he was going to die but that this was God's plan for him. Jesus' friends were confused and sad at this news. Let's open up this next egg and find out what happened to Jesus. a cross. This reminds me of how Jesus died. There were some leaders who did not believe Jesus was really God's son. They were angry because many people were following him, 
so they decided to kill Jesus. They had him beaten and nailed to a cross, and that's where Jesus died. Jesus never did anything wrong, but he died on the cross to take the punishment for all the wrong things we do. All of Jesus' friends were very sad that Jesus had died. Can you make a sad face? Let's open another egg and see what happened next. Let's see here. It's a bouncy ball that looks like a rock. After Jesus died on the cross, his friends wrapped up his body. They put him in a tomb, or a big hole in a cave. Then the tomb was sealed shut with a big rock. The people who didn't like Jesus had soldiers guard the tomb. They were scared Jesus' friends would come and take Jesus away. But there's good news coming, because this story isn't over. Let's hurry and open this next egg to find out what happened. Cool! Friends, do you see anything in this last egg? No, there's nothing in here. Even though this egg is empty, it is the best egg of all. Let me tell you why. Jesus' body had been in the tomb for three days when some of his friends came to visit him. When they got there, they were surprised to see that the big heavy rock was rolled away, and Jesus was not inside. They were scared someone had taken him, but an angel told them, Jesus is not here. God has brought him back to life. This good news made them so happy. That's why our last egg is empty. It helps us remember that Jesus did not stay dead but that he is alive. Now every year we celebrate at Easter because Jesus is alive. All of these special eggs tell us the most excellent story of all. <laughs> bye bye. Wow, Easter is the best day ever. Jesus gave his life for me and I can give my life to Jesus by following him every day. And you can give your life to Jesus too. That just makes me want to bounce around and sing another song. Stand up and sing with me. I love to read the Bible. It is God's special word. I love to read the Bible. And this is what I've heard. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes. Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. When I read the Bible, it tells me how to live. When I read the Bible, it tells me he forgives. Cause yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes. Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. When I read the Bible, it shows me how to love. And when I read the Bible, it makes me think of how, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Tail, 
girls. That was so much fun. I'm so glad you came to visit today and that we got to learn what Easter is all about. Jesus gave his life for you and me by dying on the cross and coming back to life. And we can give our lives to Jesus by loving him and others every day. From that moment on, Fouts couldn't hold back the wonderful news he learned that Easter. He told everyone about what Jesus had done for them and how they could give their lives to Jesus. Friends, I just love that story. Pounce gave his life to Jesus, and you and I can too. We do that by loving Jesus and others every day. Friends, would you like to decorate an egg to help show someone love this Easter? Yes! Let's do it! I'm going to ask some questions, and the right answer will help us know how to decorate our egg. Our first question is, did Jesus die on the cross for jelly beans or you and me? You and me! Yes, Jesus never did anything wrong, but he died on the cross because he loved you and me so much, he wanted to take the punishment for all the wrong things we do. Let me see you rub your hands together to decorate our egg with a cross shape. The next question says, after three days, was Jesus still dead or was he alive? Alive! Yes, Jesus is alive. And that's what we celebrate at Easter. Jesus loves you and me so much that he did not stay dead, but he came back to life. That's happy news. Let me see you wiggle your fingers up high as we decorate our egg with a happy sun. Our last question asks, how can we give our lives to Jesus? If you think it's by showing love to him and to others, let me see you give yourself a big hug. We can give our lives to Jesus by loving him and loving others every day. Let me see you pat your heart as we decorate our egg with hearts. This is the most beautiful Easter egg that I've ever seen. And when we look at it, we can remember that I can give my life to Jesus. Let me hear you say that after me. I can. I can. Give my life. Give my life. To Jesus. To Jesus. Exactly. One way we can show love to Jesus and to others is by telling everyone the good news of Easter. We can tell them that Jesus loves them so much, he died on the cross for them, and that he came back to life. That's so exciting. I had so much fun with you during story time today, and I hope to see you again soon. Happy Easter.